Now there is a few reasons why I wouldn't want a reticulated python. Reticulated pythons routinely get to over 20 feet long and for me it's too big for the space that I have. So rather than cramping something in something that's too small there's no point in me having it. But let's suppose that you have the space. Let's suppose you have a 12 foot by 10 foot room. Well do you have the money for the upkeep? Because these guys don't eat one rat every week or every other week. These guys will eat giant food items. So yeah, you can feed them giant rats, but you're gonna need to feed several of them per feeding, or you're gonna need to feed rabbits or a stillborn pig or a chicken. Do you have a place to get that? And can you afford to do that? So size and cost, but one other thing, the danger factor. These guys, they have a high food drive. So you just have to be careful. And I don't want to say that these guys are killers. A reticulated python is not going to jump out of its cage and try to kill you for the fun of it. It's just kind of a practicality thing. You get the point.